In a peaceful temple atop a remote mountain, there lived a renowned Zen master named Master Koji. People traveled from far and wide to seek his wisdom, for it was said that he possessed the ability to understand the thoughts and emotions of others. One day, a curious young monk named Hiroshi approached Master Koji and asked, Master, is it true that you can read the minds of others? Can you teach me this remarkable skill? Master Koji chuckled softly and beckoned Hiroshi to sit beside him in the temple's serene garden. He began to share his insights. Hiroshi, he said, the ability to read someone's mind is not about supernatural powers but about deep understanding and compassion. Hiroshi listened intently as Master Koji continued. 1. Observation The first step is to become a keen observer. Pay close attention to a person's body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. These nonverbal cues often reveal more than words. 2. Empathetic connection The second key is to cultivate empathy. Try to understand the emotions and experiences that might be causing someone to think or act in a certain way. Place yourself in their shoes. 3. Listening with presence. The third step is to truly listen. When someone shares their thoughts and feelings with you, be fully present in the moment. Let go of your own judgments and preconceptions. 4. Asking questions. Sometimes, to understand another's mind, you must ask thoughtful questions. Not to interrogate, but to encourage them to open up and share their thoughts more fully. 5. Silent mind. Lastly, cultivate a silent mind. When your own mind is calm and free from distractions, you can better connect with the thoughts and emotions of others. Meditation and mindfulness can help with this. Hiroshi diligently practiced these teachings, honing his observation skills, empathetic connection, and active listening. Over time, he found that he could indeed understand people on a deeper level, not by supernatural means, but through genuine understanding and compassion. As Hiroshi continued his journey of self-improvement, he became known for his ability to empathize and connect with others. He had learned from Master Koji that the art of reading someone's mind was not about invasion but about building bridges of understanding and offering support.